Welcome to the mystery of life. David Paulides is a former police officer who created a series of books and films known as Missing 411. David, who is now an investigator and writer known dedicated years of his life to proving the reality of Bigfoot. Missing 411 documents cases of people who have gone missing in national parks and other places. He claims that these cases are unusual and mysterious. Skeptics of David's work and data analysis suggests that they are not actually statistically mysterious or even unexpected. Paulides states in biography that he received his undergraduate and graduate degrees from the University of San Francisco. In 1977 David began a 20-year career in law enforcement. Transferring in 1980 to the San Jose Police Department. He worked in the patrol division on the SWAT team, patrol, and street crimes unit, and a variety of assignments in the detective division. In December 1996, Paul Ides was charged with a misdemeanor count of falsely soliciting for a charity while working as a court liaison officer. After leaving the police force, Paul Ides wrote books on the topic of Bigfoot, as well as on the disappearances of people in national parks. David says no one knows the causes of these disappearances. In his pursuit of Bigfoot, Paul Ides self-published two Bigfoot-related books. David founded the research group North America Bigfoot Search serving as its director. David said the world needs to understand that North America Bigfoot Search was the organizer of the study that led Dr. Ketchum to conduct a study of Bigfoot DNA. The paper was written by 11 different authors and showed the analysis of 111 samples of hypothesized Bigfoot DNA. On November 24, 2012, DNA Diagnostics, a veterinary laboratory headed by Ketchum, issued a press release prior to peer review claiming that their DNA sequencing study confirmed the existence of a hominin hybrid cross between modern humans with an unknown primate. Two months after the paper's publication of the study, Sharon Hill, from the Journal of Science reviewed the paper and concluded that the paper was of poor quality, stating that, the few experienced geneticists who viewed the paper reported a dismal opinion of it, noting it made little sense. The Scientist magazine also reviewed the paper, stating that the analyses and data failed to support the claims of existence of a human-primate hybrid, but rather, analyses either come back as 100% human, or fail in ways that suggest technical artifacts. There is no indication that Ketchum's work, the only study it has published, was peer-reviewed. Following his work on Bigfoot, David Paulide's next project was Missing 411, which is a series of self-published books and two documentary films, documenting unsolved cases of people who have gone missing in national parks and other places. According to Paulides, his work on subject of missing people began when he was doing research in a national park. An off-duty park ranger shared his concern to David about the questionable nature of some of the missing person cases that happened in the parks. The ranger knew Paul Ides used to be a police officer, and asked him to research the issue. Paul Ides agreed to take on the project. He said he uncovered many evidence suggesting negligence on the part of the park service in failing to locate the missing people. He broadened his investigation to include missing people from around the world. By doing so, this led him to believe that he has uncovered a mysterious series of worldwide disappearances. These disappearances, he said, was beyond logical and normal explanations. As of August 2021, Paul Ides has written at least 10 books on this topic. David says that, Field of suspects is narrowing, but he does not yet have a theory on what is causing the disappearances. Paul Ides advised his readers to go outside of their normal comfort zone to determine who, or what, is behind the disappearances. Paul Ides' books made it known to the public that the U.S. National Park Service does not keep an independent list of people that go missing in their parks. While there is a database for incident and criminal reports, it is not widely or consistently used. It also does not cross-reference other criminal databases. 
In response, a petition was created to make the department accountable. The interest in the book series prompted the creation of a documentary film based on the missing 411 books. This film was released in 2017. Images of maps made by Paul Ides regarding his theory have been often shared on social media. The theory has also gone viral on TikTok. A data scientist by the name of Kyle Pollack, and host of the Data Skeptic podcast, documented his analysis of Paul Ides' claims. He concluded that the unusual disappearances are nothing unusual at all. Kyle says that these so-called disappearances are best explained by non-mysterious causes, such as falling or sudden health emergency, causing someone to be left alone, unable to help themselves off trail. It could also be due to other accidents, drowning, wild animal attacks, environmental exposure, or even deliberate disappearance. After analyzing the missing person data, Pollock concluded that these cases are not outside the frequency that one would expect, or that there is anything unexplainable that I was able to identify. In a February 2017 article in Skeptical Inquirer, Susan Jerbic reported, Paul Ides gave no reason for these disappearances but finds odd correlations for them. Pollock concluded, I've exhausted my exploration for anything genuinely unusual. After careful review, to me, not a single case stands out nor do the frequencies involved seem outside of expectations. Despite skepticism on his work, today, Paulides continues to show that for more than a century, people have been disappearing under mysterious circumstances across North America and beyond.